No, that's me doing the sound. Sometimes I make a realistic sound, other times I just, I'm too lazy. Yeah, I hope you're doing well, dude. Welcome in. Sometimes, yeah. If I'm feeling not lazy, I'll like try to make an actual like cat sound or an actual like dog barking sound, you know? Not that often, but sometimes. Yeah, it's one per stream. There's a reason I put that limit. If I didn't make it one per stream, it would be like at least 5,000. Those fucking mushroom children. Uh, I guess that's why I should look at the Hydra. I thought he would be angled completely differently when he spat, but I guess not. That was close.
simping? Why would I simp? It's not because I'm being a shrimp, it's because it just hurts because I slept wrong. I mean, I do, I do shrimp, but like, that's not why my back hurts. Hmm. I'm very tired. <clears throat> yeah, that's all the weapons. Yeah. It might be 118 because Dark Hand might not be possible, but who knows? I haven't tested. I'm sorry I'm yawning so loudly. Is it inconvenient for you? Um, because the damage might not be good enough to kill four kings. Because it's a no scaling weapon that cannot be upgraded. Yeah, that's happening to me as well, Bull. Um, where it like, starts typing and then it jumps back to the beginning and then like the first few letters are just at the end. I don't know why that's been happening, it's, it's happened like five, six times lately, in like the past two days. I mean, realistically, I could probably get hyper mode, but I don't want to, because it's a pain in the ass.
Hyper mode is Power Within and Red Tear Stone. I would need to get cursed in um, the first Seath encounter, and I don't want to do that, because I don't even like doing that first Seath encounter to begin with. Yeah, I'm baiting them so that they get away, so that they don't attack me as I run through here. Because if I don't wait long enough, then they're still going to be stuck in that doorway, and they'll uh, turn around and path towards me as I run through. Great. Don't even care about who the channeler. Hey Kuma, how you doing? Uh, Bull, were you talking about the channeler, or who were you talking about that I don't care about? Good, that's good to hear. Yeah, um, the channeler falls off if he dances twice, so you can pretty much just ignore him like 99% of the time. He won't be able to shoot at your back because he's going to, he generally dances a second time as you're running back up and he'll generally f dance the first time as well. Alright, to get through the depths, did you get a, uh, what are they called? The the thing that cures curse. Uh, cleansing stone? Or no? I don't. I genuinely don't remember what it's called. Purging stone. Yeah, yeah. I I got it just as you said it. Yeah. I was like, it starts with a P, doesn't it? It's not like purifying stone. What is it? <laughs> so 
so at 20 I do 125. Let's see what I do at 23. Because at plus 2 and 23 I did, uh, or at 24 I did 123. So I should be doing like 130 probably, or like 130 something, maybe a low 140 something. Thanks to Lurk Bolt. Dude, how am I not taking any damage? damage increase for three levels. That's not bad. What the fuck is that, Kuma? If it's a reference to something, I don't get it. I don't get references.
Hey Sax, thanks for good luck. I'm a bit tired, but uh, other than that, I'm alright. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, I was reading. I actually kind of was uh, considering not streaming today just so I could keep reading, but, you know, just probably shouldn't do that. Um, it's not a book. I was reading uh, Solo Leveling because I started watching the anime for that and it was okay. So I'm like, yeah, might as well just like binge the whole thing in three days. seen it or read it. I know it's pretty popular. <laughs> Ten seconds ago? Yeah. So probably not then. It's pretty... uh average in my opinion it's just it actually executes uh whatever like uh i don't want to say cliches because it's not the right word it, it executes what it does competently unlike most things that are like it it's not like a fucking masterpiece or whatever but it's it's not bad As long as it's, like, competent at what it does, I don't really care. As long as it's not, like, total dog shit. Because I've, I've read enough dog shit in my life. And I'll probably still continue to read dog shit, but that's not the point. Most of the consumer was pretty weird, but there were a few of the short stories that I enjoyed. So I, I wouldn't say it's that. I'd say it's, uh... Well, I guess this isn't read, but watched. It's the fucking Anaragor or whatever the fuck it was that we watched together. That one was kind of, uh... All over the place inconsistent as fuck. Very weird. That was possible. Wow, another symbol drop, dude. That was possibly the weirdest thing I've ever fucking watched. <clears throat> Actually, not even possibly. Yeah, pretty much. The I don't know, was it like potatoes or whatever? Like, in the one thing that they were pulling out of the ground and he just got like addicted to that or something? It's like, what the fuck was that? That was so weird. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much accurate. It's a very, very odd summary for a very odd show. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like, what was he smoking and can I have some? Yeah, same socks. It was very... I don't even know. There aren't words to describe it. It's like you you cannot accurately describe that show. The most admirable of farts, yeah. The first time I read uh, when you post the summary, I thought it, I thought you said adorable, and I'm like, what the fuck? And then I reread it, and I'm like, oh, admirable. Honestly, either description is, uh, it wouldn't be out of place for that show. Yeah. Just... What was the song episode, dude? Like, they, they get like halfway through drawing his face, and then they just speedrun drawing the rest of him. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, we don't have enough song for this. That was the only good part of the show, Sax. What are you talking about? The episodes were only like two minutes long. If they were any longer, I might have had to be put into a fucking insane asylum. Yeah, pretty much. I wasn't exposed for long enough. Uh, for any lasting trauma to occur. That show was just so fucking weird. Yeah, that's, that's what that show is. I remember being very angry at how inconsistent the rules were. Because like sometimes there were people there, sometimes they weren't, or the people just like... Vessels? Like, or do they live their own lives? Or like, what the fuck is going on? I give a shit about the rules. I always give a shit about the rules. There is no internal consistency. And that bothers me. It ruins the viewing experience, and that show was an experience. <laughs> no, I will never let go. I will be as petty as possible and just hold on to this one thing. Yeah, it does sound like me, because it is me. Yeah. <sighs> 
It's just what I am. Character art. That's what you focus on out of all of that shit. There's something wrong with the whole damn show, Sax. Yeah, it is fine to focus on the rules, because the rules are more important than the art. If it's a pretty show that doesn't make sense, then it's bad. But if it's an ugly show that does make sense, then it's good. <clears throat> the only thing that made it feel real. The only thing that was like that grounded you in reality that made it so you're like, oh, so I didn't just uh, dream that show up. something. Didn't the title translate to like Fart Man or something like that? It was such a weird show. Just so fucking odd. that high of ratings, to be honest. Actually, I can't believe it's been rated at all. Four out of five, only slightly below average. If the average is that bad, then dear God. If the average is like 50% that's just kind of sad I mean I guess that has like all of the fuck or like a ton of the animes ever made so I guess that makes sense because a lot of them are dog shit it's good. no it isn't no, it fucking isn't. There's no way you actually think that. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. It's just, what the fuck is that show? Honestly, I will never know.
why are you like this, Smo? What the fuck? And you're just charging when I'm right there. One HP. <sighs> How did it even get subtitled? Yeah, made better than Maiden Abyss. Now you're just fucking with me. Maiden Abyss is worse, then how does it have a following? Checkmate. There's no way uh, Anaragoro is better than Maiden Abyss. Um, thank you for the follow, Recruit. I'm assuming that's how you say your name. Welcome in, thanks for the follow.
Yeah, I'm trying not to, Sox. Uh, thank you, Recruit. It wasn't uh, really a good fight in my opinion, but I lived, so I guess that's all that matters. I played it pretty poorly. And sorry, considering you're new here, you probably don't know. I don't take compliments. Not well, at least. the uh, music volume by the way I kind of turned it down and I don't know if it's too quiet or if it's okay finish this running section because like I didn't want to like I, I thought it was a little low but I didn't want to turn it up too much uh, I just have a little bit of a cough um, it's nothing serious Thank you, though. I think it's just, like, the tail end of bronchitis, but I'm not sure. funny um i was i was talking with uh someone who i think it's a spanish runner who asked me for uh some help with gwen like with Bo. and they they said something along the lines of uh your runs are a gold mine for newer runners and i'm like if people are using my strats and my routes then i, I fucking pray for their sanity like, dear god, I feel bad. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, my, my strats are fucking ridiculous, and my routes are just stupid as hell sometimes. Yeah. I have ridiculous routes, and I do ridiculous strats. Don't have the patience or nerve for runs, that's understandable. Nerves are something you build up over time. Or at least something I built up over time, but patience is quite a bit harder to to gain. 
In fact, I think I've lost a lot of patience with this series the more I challenge on it. I need to figure out something better for that, because like, he rolls like 80% of the time, but there's like a good 20% of the time I actually have to deal with him. He's crazy. Everybody run. I never watch, like, well, I do watch things other than Dark Souls, but I don't watch, like, popular things other than Dark Souls, I guess. Actually, recently I've been getting into, um, A Hat in Time speedruns, because I loved that game when I played it casually. I've talked a little bit about uh, possibly trying to do no hit in that game, but I'm not sure because it's quite a bit harder than Dark Souls to no hit, and I think because some of the bosses are just kind of ridiculous. I also enjoyed watching uh, Sundered speedruns, but there's no one currently running the game, I don't think. So, unfortunately I'm in a bit, in a bit of a content drought in terms of Sundered. Yeah. I mean, I'm not into, like, uh, first playthroughs or whatever anyway. So even if people were streaming it, I wouldn't really watch unless it was a speedrun. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I guess I'm cursed to to enjoy the runs of, of dead games. Sponge of random Elden Ring knowledge, you love helping folks with it, yeah. I enjoy lurking in your streams. I don't always talk, because a lot of the time I'm just kind of doing whatever, but I always enjoy lurking. Too bad you suck at the game? Eh, you're better than me. I think Vigor, the only thing I leveled in the game, other than like the stats, like the strength to wield um, the sacrificial axe one-handed, was Vigor. And I still got one-shot by a random ass ant later in the game. So like, I'm not convinced it's all that helpful, Sax. Yeah, it's, it was ridiculous. I was, like, full health with armor on. Like, it wasn't super good armor, but it was, it was still armor. And I still got fucking one-shot, and I'm like, uh-huh? I'm like, no. That's enough. That's enough of that for today. <laughs> I, if somebody told me they did do more than waterfowl, I wouldn't even question it. I wouldn't bat an eye, dude. Where are you off to?
asleep. Yeah, butterfly is really annoying, but I don't think I've been hit to butterfly in months, so at this point I care very little about the fight. Yeah, next hit will definitely be to butterfly now that I've said that. Maybe I should have gotten the Egg Vermifuge after Quaylag. Cause then I could have plus four after this split. Rather than having to kill Priscilla to get plus four. Watch those, like, unloading and reloading mushroom children be able to stagger me or something. I would actually uninstall the game. Quit it. Quit getting me stuck on your fucking legs. I don't like punishing a second time on that attack. Those little mushroom children probably can stagger me. Arrow man, thanks to GG. Thanks for good luck, dude. Uh, I saw uh, what happened in on pace. That's really unfortunate, dude. You're gonna get that run real, real fucking soon, dude. I've I've had. So many, I think like, I think I've had like three or four Gwyn hits, and they, they suck every time, dude. Like, they're so fucking bad.
be running much in the near future. It's unfortunate to hear, but... Is it, like, life or you just don't feel like running? Because either way, running always takes a backseat. Bullshit life things, it's unfortunate. Hope whatever it is sorts it out sorts itself out soon. If I can talk. That's good. Oh, whoops. Becoming unmotivated, or I guess especially bad hits can be really demotivating. What the fuck was that? from Street Fighter, I think. But like, I mean, what the fuck was that? As in, I missed the input. Tougher to run, yeah. It can be really, like, really far hits can be really demotivating, but a ton of early hits is also just as demotivating, oftentimes more so. I forgot to turn the music up, sorry. It's like... I, I care more when I'm resetting like four times in a row to Quaylag than when I got hit to Artorias yesterday. It's like, the Artorias hit sucks, but it's like... Less shit somehow than resetting a bunch of times to Quaylag. Even though it's like more time. Like, I would have felt the opposite way, like, a year ago. Because... At that point, I was still struggling with Quaylag in early game a little bit. And, like, I would have been, like... Devastated by a hit really far in. Whereas, um... A hit early would be just normal. And getting hit early is still pretty normal, but I'm more bothered by it, because I know I should be good enough to not have it happen. I don't know. It's probably some weird perspective thing again.
I'm not sure how quickly you can get a, a foot stagger hitbox there, so I'm not sure how safe that is. I think it's only like when he's turning, maybe. But I need to do more testing on Taurus. Nice, I missed the dog. I just take a blind throw at that dog, because it's usually in the same place. And I end up missing sometimes. a bit of an early roll. Thanks to GG. I clearly need more Capra practice as well. I was doing some pretty early rolls there. Need more Metallica on your playlist? So do I, honestly. This is one of the only songs I have by them in my playlist. And I only added it pretty recently. Because I heard it on the radio and I'm like, damn. Like, damn, this is a good song.
I did that very poorly. I went for too many hits on the first slam. So I ran out of stamina. Thanks to Gigi though. I love that like sitting down to level up is the perfect timing for that um, for that elevator. songs right now. So we're gonna have this kind of Priscilla, or Gwendolyn, I guess. I'm waiting for Bo. This is gonna take a while. Oh, there we go. I managed to two cycle that time. Thanks to GG. Oh, 
I guess maybe I can't do all of them at the same time like that. Yeah, so that guy does attack. Yeah, I thought so. <sighs> that's concerning. I guess that's something I need to look at, because sometimes he doesn't aggro and other times he does. Yeah, the, the last guy I killed uh, of the first three, he was starting a lunge, like a, the leaping attack. It wouldn't have hit me, because he would have gone past me. But, uh, he was starting an attack is the point. I know he only has one hit left, but um, I don't want to go for it with a fist weapon. He can move his body back too easily, and fist weapons have no range. Uh, thank you for the follow. I'll read your name once it pops up. Uh, Sekia? Sorry, I'm bad with names. I feel like everyone who's here so regularly has heard that a million times, but it's true. Because then I have to deal with archers, and plus I get a dragon scale this way. Basically, I find it easier to deal with the undead dragon because he's very consistent. How to fight Priscilla? Well, this is how you fight Priscilla. You run past, wait for an attack, run back in, and do an attack. Maybe two, depending on the weapon type. It's not very engaging. Also, hey JNZ, how you doing? Dagger. Fist weapons just do very little poise damage, so if you have like a, a plus zero curved sword, then you should be able to stagger her in like three or four hits. Or if you have great chaos fireball, uh, or a, a ultra great sword running attack, that kind of thing. I think an ultra great sword running attack actually staggers in one hit. GBH, uh, black, blacksmith giant hammer you mean? Um, that should stagger in like two or three hits. Maybe two running attacks.
I mean, I don't know how much uh, poise damage weapons do, so... Yeah, BGH, Blacksmith Giant Hammer. People mix it up all the time. I am amazed that the archer didn't notice me. I think I should only do uh, that if it's a weapon that can one-shot them. Hey, Soul Slayer, thanks for good luck. Hope you're doing well. Was a uh, did you finish the Sempo Fist, or was Demon of Hatred not the last thing? Ugh, I heard the magic and I just didn't like it. Has he de aggroed yet? I just don't like dealing with those guys. If they didn't have their stupid shoulder check, I wouldn't care. That's actually the shoulder check is, isn't even the problem. Like I, I can deal with them like that. It's pretty easy. I'm just a coward. do ammunition, but besides that it's done. Nice. GG on that. The hitbox looked terrible for Demon of Hatred. Like you- it did not seem like you could lock on at all if you wanted to, to hit. <laughs> Time. Demon of Hatred, Simpo Fist, no miss kill when. <laughs> that would be painful. Yeah, I I don't remember if I said that in your chat, but uh fist in every fucking Souls game that I've played is ass. Apparently it was okay in Demon Souls, but like, I don't, the hitbox is really bad in every fucking game. Like, I, with this weapon, you can literally do like boom boom and then miss the fucking backswing if you're like right up against an enemy because the first hit moves you back or something. Not to mention the damage is atrocious. But 
with the hitboxer ass. So yeah, just normal from soft uh, fist hitboxes then. It's dirty Colossus fist only. A lot of the bosses in Demon Souls just seem terrible, to be completely honest. No fist in Lies of P. That's stupid. They should let people suffer if they want to. If the game doesn't have a fist option, it's trash. <sighs> Thank you for deaggering. I didn't want to have to deal with you. Just do a claw swipe, like a close claw swipe when I'm nowhere near you, Seath. I just love when Seath does the fucking close swipe after a mid-range uh, crystal breath. That's like such an annoying combination to dodge. Um, those are decent move sets are usually buggy. Yeah. Worst weapon deals okay damage. Do you mean this deals okay damage? No, it doesn't. <laughs> this is a plus four dragon weapon with literally maxed, uh, fucking. Like, it's, it's only A and I have 40 strength. Oh, and Lies of B. Okay, I was like, there's no way you're talking about this. You're insane. Uh, between the spiky ball and tentacle? I don't think so. But that's not a place I enjoy being, because I've had Seath do tentacle attacks when you're there. And plus, if you misread uh, and Seath does a close attack, it's annoying to get out of. So it's like, you can, you can roll out pretty easily, to be honest. It's just, I don't like dodging it. Seath is such a poorly designed boss. Like, did you see the opener today? Even broken straight sword analog? Uh, in Liza P. Like, you're, you're saying broken straight sword, or like the equivalent, deals okay damage? Or. Sorry, I'm I've lost the conversation. <laughs> uh I'm stupid. Don't worry about it. Um I was saying the opener for Seath, he did the straight crystal breath, which is normal, and then he did a close claw swipe when I had never even gotten close to him. Don't mind me, that's my line. I'm the stupid one here. <sighs> one thing I don't like is my forearms get very not like tense, but I guess tight when I play for too long. 
because I'm usually like resting them on the desk. And just f isn't fun. I don't trust that hitbox to the side. I need to do more testing with it. I say that, but I never actually do the testing. And I miss. That literally would have been more damage than I do. Rolling an attack on Nito, by the way. Cringe of me. Extremely cringe. I'm supposed to be the based all bosses runner, and here I am, the cringe Nito roller. I was hoping for a kill there, that would have been funny. <sighs> Crimson folded seven times. God damn. I'm creating cringe singularities. Cringularities, I guess. Yeah, definitely first stance. How you doing, dude? I'm doing all right. Hoping I don't throw this run again, but you know, whatever happens, happens, I guess. My back hurts. I was talking about that earlier a bit. It's because I slept wrong. I'll cry. Don't cry. I'm the one that should be crying, throwing such a terrible weapon uh, so far in twice. I don't throw them. Yeah, I'm trying my best. Like, even I get nervous on runs like this. Come on, gotta cut me some slack. I get nervous and I press the wrong thing because I'm fat fingering right there. And then I throw.
the damage is really bad on four kings, so I actually need to uh, be fast. Pre crying. <laughs> no faith, though. I can't blame you. There is precedent for me throwing, so. Faith, only strength. I hate single stat scaling weapons, they're so fun. you just backing off for five minutes. spawn locations yeah didn't learn to find their spawn locations while in the void with no landmarks whatsoever <sighs> wouldn't that be something <clears throat> I know it's like I know it's middle right left and then behind but like I'm not I, I, I don't know I just don't feel like it yeah, you can create landmarks by dropping shit, but I haven't, like... I'm not doing that properly, and this weapon is too bad to even bother. Because as you saw, I got magic on the second one, and the third one was spawned in before I even started looking for him. So it doesn't really matter so much for this weapon. The poke is, like, uncomfortable to strafe for the first little bit after you learn it. Because it's like, you don't think it's going to work. But it, it works, and the hitbox is extremely forgiving. The only one I still don't know is... fucking horizontal. And then if I strafe poorly, I have to roll the second hit of the diagonal. Which is really annoying. I mean, I've, I've played this game so much, I have so many runs, but I still don't do, like, basic things to make shit easier. It's classic me, really. The 
easy way. I mean, I'm doing... I mean, no, not really. <laughs> I do Rangeless New Londo every time. So, like... Instead of instead of learning Inward Bombing, I just do fucking Rangeless New Londo because I'm too lazy to learn Inward Bomb. Like, unironically. Yeah, on no roll it's important because it you can just half kill them and then you only have to deal with one attack. Um, but with a weapon like this, uh, you really don't have that kind of damage, so it doesn't matter as much. I would still be like running towards them. Uh, like even if I got no magic and I got like a, a perfect cycle, I'd still probably be running towards them as they're spawning in. Now just don't throw it at anything here, and we're back to DLC. I don't need levels at this point. Ow, my fucking knee. I didn't get the second hit. Second lava uh, tick.
come on. the GG. That song was like weirdly good for Centipede. Fit at least. Ninety-nine percent. Yeah, it would have been better if it was a hundred percent lava. With like one spot where you can stand at the beginning that doesn't have lava. So you just have to, to dodge everything by rolling into the wall. Also, meme song for Bed of Chaos fits perfectly. The list of what I've done is um, down below, but I don't have a list of stuff I haven't done. I should probably make one. <sighs> but I'd be too lazy to keep it up to date, to be honest, so... I should make a like a spreadsheet or something. <sighs> but I'm too lazy. It's 
gonna be one of these beds of chaos. See on Gwyn left. I'm gonna run to the restroom. Um, and if you're still here, would you mind posting this on on pace? All right, I'll be right back. Post it on pace. Or, uh, yeah, I can do it real quick. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thanks. Just DLC and Gwyn left. I guess. For what little good it'll do. What a great song. <laughs> hey Kappa. Don't worry, yesterday I threw to Artorius, so I might not get the run. I 
how you doing, Kappa? <laughs> yeah, I pretty much am farming. We were literally talking about this the other day. That I was farming runs. But it's like... Is someone who does god run farming runs? No, they don't care about the individual runs, they only care about the, the collective runs. That's what I'm doing here. That's what I'm doing here. Going for all weapons, all bosses, that's the that's the end goal. That's all I want. Eh. I don't fuck with this. Oh nice. on eventually. Not now. Hey Casey, how you doing? Thanks for fuck Ohio. <clears throat> yeah, thanks for the GGs and the fuck Ohio's. <laughs> I'd eat some Subway, nice. I'm doing well. Considered not streaming today, because I wanted to read, but, uh... You know, figured that would be kind of rude, considering I said I would, so. Here we are. Poor Ohio. Ohio is like, a weird joke. Like, I don't mean like, I mean like, it's become a weird joke within memes. It's, it's just so weird. I don't know why. themselves. Yeah, that was literally my thought. I was like, you know what, I might as well try at least get Dragon Bone Fist, or at least try to get Dragon Bone Fist, at least get a run to like DLC or something before stopping. Because my goal is like at least two weapons per week. Because if I do that, I'll be done within about a year. I tried catch pole, it was good, but I died to ONS because I'm stupid. I don't know. I think I'd have gotten that run if I had gotten past ONS. It's a very good weapon. It would have fallen off in DLC, but I mean, what do you expect? It's the Astorus straight sort of halberds.
I couldn't strafe that one. I wasn't running early enough. That was a really bad Artorius. I need to get better at uh, strafing the consecutive flips, because if I if I roll poorly, then I can't. Thank you for the follow. Uh, sorry, demo, uh, demo jice, demojus. Sorry, I don't. I'm I'm bad with names. Yeah, Imperial Circus Dead Decadence is honestly one of my favorite bands. Demo is fine. All right. Sorry, I'm very bad with names. Is that a band or a song, Ant? I thought guy's just entire body is clipped into the ground, it's just his head sticking out.
Hold on, I did that wrong. The second one wasn't turned far enough. Bend. Swimming? Or swimming? Or what is, what is that word? <laughs> Swarming, okay. I'll play, once I get down to the dungeon, uh, I'll put that song on. Or I guess I'll, I'll queue up that song, because I don't want to skip this song. Challenge is insane. It's a difficult weapon. Because the range is terrible and the damage is terrible. weapons yeah it's it's a fair bit uh add to Q all right the song is queued up talking overall skipped the word <laughs> seems like something I would do I mean overall I would say it's more of an endurance and commitment thing than, like, skill. Uh, that's, that's my opinion on it, at least. I think it's the easiest. Uh, curved swords in general are pretty easy. Because they're pretty good. I don't think there's, like, a single, like, terrible curved sword. Which is, uh, pretty amazing. Best weapon right here. Maybe if you're a fucking... Psychopath. Just shut up. <laughs> that is bad damage. not that I even know every boss perfectly, it's just I have decent consistency on them. This is insane magic RNG, double shotgun and a circle. I mean, I finally got a rain, but it's too late to matter. <clears throat> 119 weapons ranking video. That would be an insane challenge to me. Get surprised by high amounts of damage. I mean, why would I... I have 119 of these fuckers to do. Why would I bother, like... 
doing a routing run for each. DLC scares you. Um, DLC's not so bad. Honestly, just learn some no rule strats for Calamite and Artorius, and it makes it significantly easier. Butterfly is uh, very consistent, by the way, so you don't need to be afraid of Butterfly at all. Okay, I need to jump attack to kill the dogs. Got it. That's how bad the damage is. That this does worse than a plus zero uh, gold tracer. Like, I was testing for a uh, plus zero weapon relay. And the, the plus zero gold tracer does pretty much the same amount of damage as a plus four dragon bone fist. That's just real bad. This is why I hate fist weapons. Because I'm pretty sure this is one of the better fist weapons as well. You get S scaling at plus 5. Yeah, have fun killing the Ash Lake Hydra. Fuck that. Like, really genuinely fuck that. Because when I go down there to get the scales to start with, I can't use the weapon. And if I went back when I could use the weapon, that would be a massive waste of time. And also probably a reset point. <clears throat> Alright. By the way, I'm about to do, like, the only intended, uh, heavy attack of the run. Can relate to the bad hitboxes. Fist weapons. The hitboxes and fist weapons in Elden Ring, they, they don't even compare to how bad this is. Like, they're, they're not great, but they don't compare. <laughs> it's so bad. It's like you'll do a hit and then it'll it'll push you back and then the backswing will miss. That's how bad this shit is. Never tried fist in DS1, keep it that way. <laughs> uh That was risky. I started moving late. That could have killed me. The dog could have dodged. And I would have had to just actually fight a dog. Or make a run for it and RNG with the fog gate. Yeah, Crystal Halpert any percent is pretty free. Good job, Calamite. Oh Christ! I did not expect to get caught on his head. Holy fuck, dude. That should have killed me. Or Castus, or Castus, or C 
heist us or whatever the fuck. That's why you shouldn't fight Colony near a wall, by the way. God damn it. Just do the fucking tail slam, dude. Come on. Hey, Shogun, how you doing? That was such a terrible colony. Like, that was a combination of awful RNG and awful execution. Thanks to GG's. Yeah, just Gwyn left. As you can tell from the bad split. Because Gwyn is a terrible boss. Making you want to play again? Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Play DS1 again. Come on. like 1500 is my low estimate. I've played in offline steam mode quite a bit, so a lot of my hours aren't recorded. is this? Four. Oh, thank god I actually got it. Thank god I don't have to touch this terrible fucking weapon again. 
fuck this actual piece of shit garbage weapon type. Thanks for GG's, 225, 23.